Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make a Bucket 1.3.1 server. And while Bucket has not released the recommended um, finished build for 1.3.1, you can install a developer build, which should work pretty well. I don't know if it has any issues or not, but they have it out there for people to try, so it's probably okay. And if you want to do that, then just follow along. So go to bucket.org, click on the recommended build there first. Don't download that though. You're going to want to go up here top and go to development builds and download that big red button version. Hit keep. Alright, so if you don't have Java installed, go over to java.com. Click on, and even if you think you do, just do this anyway. It's going to make doing the batch file a whole lot simpler, less options to figure out. Click on downloads there in the top, then click see all Java downloads. Now, regardless of what version of Windows you're on, download the Windows offline 32-bit version right here. Download that one, okay? And then go to Minecraft.net, click on Download, and download the Minecraft server.exe. Alright, once you have all those, locate your files. Oh, I did not download Minecraft. There we go. Got the server. Don't run it. Okay. Select both of those and move them however you want. Copy, paste, cut, whatever. Okay. Now, one thing. This is a .jar file, this craft bucket. It says it's WinRAR because that's the program I used to open it, and you don't see the extension. But to make this simpler so you don't get a number wrong, remove all of those numbers and the dash right up to craft bucket, the word, and leave that just like that. Just like you see here in my folder. Okay. Now, for the tricky part. First, if you don't know what version of Windows you're on, if you're on Windows 7, go to Start Menu, right-click on Computer, click Properties, and you can see right here 64-bit, or say 32-bit, or go to Control Panel, System, and you can find that information also. Okay, so once you know that, here in this notepad file, which this information will also be in the description below, we have the batch file command. Okay, now is where most people get messed up. What you need to do is, if you are on Windows 64-bit, you're going to do it just like it says here. If you're on Windows 32-bit, you're going to want to remove this parenthesis x86 parenthesis, all of this right here. Just remove that, just like that, and that will be your code. Okay, I'm on 64-bit, so I put it back in, and right here is the file that it's directing to. See, craftbucket.jar. If we hadn't renamed that, we would have had to have you know, dash zero, blah, 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 all those numbers there, and that could just mess you up. So we leave it just like that. Now you're going to want to go to File, Save As. Down here at Save As Type, click on that and go to All Files. Uh, don't forget to navigate to your bucket folder, or Minecraft server folder, whatever you named it, where you have these two files. Just name that run.bat for batch file. Hit save, and you'll see over here, we can close that. you see here you got a run file with this little icon, and it's a Windows batch file. Okay, so double click that. You'll see that it is running. You'll see here at the top that it's 1.3.1. And there's all this information saying that it's a development build, etc., etc. We don't really care about that. We were just trying to run it anyways. Wait for it to prepare the spawn area and do all that good stuff. You can see all the files that it created. Okay, once it's run and it says done, type stop. Let it save chunks and press any key to continue. That'll close it. And then when you run it again, you'll be good to go. You need to stop it that one time. See, it runs a lot faster the second time. Okay, so here's your plugins folder. Uh, to install plugins, it's pretty simple. If you download them from uh, bucket.org, they have a link. And you just place them right in there. Close your server, run your server, it'll install them, close it, run it again, just like you did to install it the first time, and then those will be good to go. And you have your uh, server.properties file, see, properties file. You just right-click and edit that, or open if you already have it associated with Notepad. And in there is where you can change all those type of things. Most importantly, if you have not bought Minecraft and you're using some cracked version or whatever, you would go to, where is it? It's here somewhere. Online mode. See that true? Change that to false. False. 
and then that will allow people with cracked versions to get on. A lot of people have that issue. Uh, you should probably just buy the game, but hey, whatever. They put that in there so you could turn it off, obviously, because they know that a lot of people play it cracked and then end up buying it. Whatever. Okay, so that's running. Now let's go here, run our Minecraft. Login. Multiplayer. Direct connect. Local host. And here we are in our brand new world. A whole new world. The endless possibilities. Oh, see? Oh, this is a common question people have too. I can't break any blocks. What's going on? Well, it's because you're too close to the spawn point. So you need to move away. Oh, uh, 20 blocks or so. And now you will see. Hey, what the? Okay, not far enough. Okay, still not far enough. Ah, what was that? Crazy cow. There we go. See, I was not far enough away yet. So, now I can break blocks and all is good in the world. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped you out. Gets you up and running on a 1.3.1 bucket server. But don't forget, most of your plugins might not be updated yet either. And so there isn't a real point to install it that I know of because the only reason you're running bucket is to do plugins and all that good stuff. And if you can't run them, then what's the point? But here you have it. I uh, hope it worked out for you. Maybe you got a little more, bit more clarity on the batch file and uh, stuff like that. But give me a thumbs up, a like, you know, and hit favorite if it worked out for you because that helps my videos rank and search. And uh, I'm making these tutorials just to get new viewers in because it really helps because people are always searching for this type of stuff. I'm trying to grow my audience so I can do this full time. So with that also being said, look at the annotation in the top middle here and you can win... Skyrim, I'm doing a giveaway when I reach 5,000 subscribers. Just go there and comment and tell me what version you want, Xbox, PS3, or PC. Thanks so much for watching, and check out my other content, and I will see you next time.